And you are watching the Married at First Sight Nashville reunion. We are continuing with Nicole and Chris, the a couple this year. Let me ask you this. How are you doing, Chris, with keeping your wife happy, but also keeping yourself happy? I mean, I'm doing really good. I think the big thing is we have such good communication. It's just keeping that up. Nicole, is Chris doing a better job of speaking up for himself? Oh, absolutely. I just want to clear the record that Chris never had a problem speaking up, but I had heard so many things from his friends, his family, even his past relationships when he told me about them where he was walked all over, where he didn't voice his opinion. So I went into our marriage thinking, you have to make sure this man speaks up. You have to make sure that he tells you how he feels. So I was almost pressing it when I didn't need to because I was so concerned that we would start off with him developing this pattern. So I would say there are times even now where I want him to speak up more, but he just doesn't have anything else to say. And it's like, I, I don't have more to add to it. So Right, right, right. It's important to take a break from all the seriousness and just to let loose and have fun. Mm -hmm. Your marriage could not have been sweeter from the very get-go. So we have some never-before-seen oh. bonus oh. footage Here we that go. I want you to check out. Hi. Mama's home, boys. Hi, Mama's home. So I brought some magical toys. <laughs> we could have battles, practice. Is this over who cooks dinner? <laughs> life been since the cameras went away so fun yeah it's we been it's fun. been honestly great we haven't had really any like you know little normal bickering over dinner and stuff like that but other than that like there really hasn't been any arguments how are the dogs oh, amazing dogs are great really yeah the dogs get along so well they're brothers and they're a pack yeah i couldn't be happier with how they're getting along okay how about kids have you all had that discussion that talk we had that discussion on the honeymoon. <laughs> right. Honestly, I grew up never wanting kids, and now I'm kind of open to them, but I'm not dying to have them. Just to be fully transparent, I always envision two. One boy, one girl. It's one of the things we have to think about. Where are you when it comes to that? We are not ready for children right now. Uh, yeah. We have our hands full. Three dogs is a lot. Hard enough. <laughs> Uh, we are going to start looking for a house because we want to settle, start planting roots. We want a backyard for the dogs. And then we're planning to revisit the kid conversation probably yeah. in a year or so and decide if we want children. I think that we do. But at the same time, we're like, we're not rushing it. We want to enjoy each other. We want to be able to like, have experiences. Yep. Once you have a kid, like, that all changes. But we're open to it. <laughs> we so. just know we're not ready right now. Yeah. Okay. Biggest question. Nicole, how is your dad with Chris now? Oh, it's great. <sighs> it's annoying. He is, he loves Chris. She says that her dad asks about me more than he asks about her, so. I'll be like, hi, how's my son-in-law? Like, you have his phone number, I'm good. <laughs> He's actually watching our dogs right now. Can you call him? Yeah. All right, let's call him. 